I know everybody's favorite movie is The Blair Witch Project. Everybody talks about it, but we don't talk about Citizen Kane enough with fucking James Orwell's Orson Welles. We don't talk about this movie, do we? We talk about, you know, Fight Club and fucking Fled with Lawrence Fishburne and Stephen Baldwin. When we talk about Star Wars A New Hope. But we never talk about, we never talk about, we never talk about Citizen Kane. We never talk about this movie. It's one of the greatest movies of all time. I can tell you right now that it is, it is one of the greatest movies. It is like just not even like the greatest movie ever, but it is the only greatest movie ever made in, the, in our entire lives because we can only watch this movie once and understand all of it, but like it's so true. It's so true to the, the fact because it is the greatest movie of all time. I got vodka right here. talking about fucking Citizen Kane right now. And Citizen Kane is the greatest movie of all time. And it is the best movie. Cat agrees. Cat, do you think the Citizen Kane is the greatest movie? Cat also likes uh, Laser Prince. But this movie is really good. Best movie ever made. Oh, 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 oh. Gotta get the laser pointer. Can I get the laser pointer? Can I get it? Oh, that's enough. You don't want to wear yourself out, do you, little baby kitty? Good kitty. He's a good kitty cat. Alright, we're talking about... How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is Austin Wells. Okay, this is one of the greatest movies of all time. Because it was made a long time ago. Citizen Kane is the title. Citizen Kane is the title. Like, it's so meta. It was made in the 40s, 1941, I think. We don't have enough time to watch the entire movie, but it is one of the greatest movies of all time. All these girls are like 70 years old or older, probably like 80 years old now. It's crazy. And everyone in this movie is probably dead because it's such an old movie. Like most people born in the 40s are dead by now. Isn't that weird? Like thinking of like all the people who lived and made all this great art is just dead now. And now there's just you and me watching fucking old ass movies, calling it the best movie ever made. And there's this cat that just won't leave me alone. What do you want, baby? We're watching this movie, trying to analyze it, and like really, you can't analyze this movie. It's so fucking weird and different, and it works. It just works. It's the best movie ever made. Citizen Kane is a modern American story about a man called Kane, Charles Foster Kane. I don't know how to tell you about him. There's so many things to say. Yeah, exactly. Like, they tell you in the first fucking, like, three minutes of the movie, there's too much to say. We don't know what to say about it. There's too much to say about this goddamn movie made in the goddamn 40s, and then they just make this entire movie that's like two hours long, and they make all the, the commentary about what other people think in this era, about what they think about fucking Citizen Kane before it's even released. The, it's a joke. It's a fuck. It's so real. Of course I love him. 
I gave him $60 million. Well, of course I love him. He's the richest man in America. It's amazing. It is still relevant today. It's the best movie ever fucking made. Cat agrees. <laughs> the office agrees. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what you will think about Mr. Kane. I can't imagine. You see, I play the part myself. Well, see, it's Citizen Kane talking about how he can't even explain his movie. And then he's dead. He dies. Like, how the fuck does this 